It's not happy <laughs> because I'm holding it up. Hello everyone, it's LJP Tech here. So as you can see, I got plenty of robots that I have already featured on my channel. But out of all these, including the Yugot robot that I'm currently reviewing at the moment, I would confidently say that Rox robot here is the best small home robot that you could get. So for this video, I'll try my best to cover most of the current function that is available for Rox robot. But if I do miss out, please do check on my community post when I'll be featuring my live streaming, which hopefully will feature uh, all of the function as well, which will be pretty long indeed. And lastly, please do subscribe, press the bell button and comment and like this video. So enough said, let's get into the actual function. To start with, one of my favorite function of Rox Robot is that it's containable. If it just wonders about making all this constant motor sound, which I'm sure many of you find it very annoying with other robots, you all need to do is press uh, the news and it will be station, containable, with a wireless charging dock, and it will show you all the latest news and so on. Now, what I do like about this news sections is that you can choose what sort of news feed you want to get. I have actually crossed out the entertainment because I think it's a waste of time talking about celebrities and films and etc. But if you want to make it more alive and um, freestyle, then you just need to press the pet mode, okay? So initially it will show that it's sleeping because it's charging, but if you were to take it out and then press the pet mode, you can see that Rux is awake. Now, interesting thing about Rux is that it has this object avoidance knowledge for the sensor. So let's say if I were to press my hand in front of it, Rux will show a stop sign and move to the right. You see that? is trying to avoid the object right in front of it. So the next one is uh, time. If we were to press time, as you can see here, it has a wallpaper on it. It shows the current time, the date, and also the weather and the temperature as well. But if you go to the app, press on time, you can customize the um, watch face, I would like to say, I'm sorry, it, it just, something that I predicted, I'm really glad it happened. So you can choose the wallpaper and also the formation of how the time can be shown. Next one is the meditation, okay? So you can actually choose how many minutes and how many sessions, uh, what sort of background music as well. We've got nature, dreamer, sand, shuttle, flute, uh, tidal water, stream, guitar, ocean, piano, pleasure, pray, Bird song, lake, memory, forest, lighthearted, chunye, sunshine, lightweight, water floor, airspace, pass through, stroll, wind chimes, and piano as well. So let's try out one of the meditations, shall we? So if I press uh, meditation here. Ah, I see. So this is something I pressed early on. So it was on the nature for five minutes and it continues on. So let's say if you stop in the middle of it, it will resume and complete the first task so you can move on to the next uh, task as well. So the next one is to do uh, list. Okay, so currently it's showing empty because if you actually go to the app, it's asking whether you want to synchronize your mobile calendar uh, to the schedule. Um, which I would be happy to do so for, the, but for this video, I'm not going to show you, but you can also create a list by pressing add on your app. You can add like, um, what sort of event and what sort of date it is as well. So to do, then you can type it and save and etc. Next one is anniversary. So this is very cool indeed. So you just need to choose the anniversary and add that into the list. Same as the to-do list as well. You can customize the screen. So if you click on this, you can choose either to repeat it or not. Uh, you can add the text saying you are the best in the world up to 20 words and save it. Or you can actually put pictures either from the photo uh, that you take from uh, through the 
uh, Rocks Robot or from the album, photo album that you have. There you go, people. So up to 20 words. So I typed in, please, up to LJP Tech, which I desperately need your support. Thank you very much. So if you go to Marquee, these are function description of you can add multiple custom text and choose any one to display. So for example, if we say hello and then save, and then you go to uh, marquee and then select, that's what's gonna happen. So that's better, isn't it? Hello. Now, next one is fans. This is quite a unique one actually, because if you click on it, it says um, Billy Billy, uh, Weibo, TikTok, and Do You, okay? So these seem to be Chinese social media that I never heard of, except TikTok that I'm sort of semi-active on it. So I guess you can actually link up that platform and get notification. That's what fans for. And the next one is weather. So you got to choose what city you're based at, which I have actually featured on my previous video. But if you click on it, you can choose which country you're living at and what sort of city. It actually covers most of the countries that I'm aware of. So that's really cool. I don't know how they managed to do all these countries because I felt like other robots don't have this much of information. Even they have North Korea as well. Wow, okay. What's the weather like in Pyongyang? If I just press yes. Next one is stock. You can actually display stock market into your screen of Rox Robots. So by pressing on add, uh, there are categories. So this is US stock market, uh, Shanghai, Shenzhen stocks, Hong Kong stocks, okay? Those are the ones that you could add. And then the code, you just need to add the short word of the stocks that you're following. So this is quite interesting. Spectrum light. You can actually, um, by using the spectrum lamp function, you can say to, uh, this is Xiao Li. I think that's the name of the robot in uh, China. You press on spectrum light. So it's like, hello, my name is LJP Tech. Please subscribe and press the bell button and comment and like. So the next one is expression display. So this seemed to be like um, different to the spectrum light. So if I press that, okay. Oh, this is basically the summary of what sort of uh, facial expression that Rock's robot can do. Okay, so this is the way how it takes photo. Oh, going to the toilet. <laughs> this is just the summary. Give me five. Yeah, give me five, high five and so on. That's very cool. I just want to show you the idea of what sort of expression as an example is available which are tons so for the notification if we were to click on this you can actually customize what sort of no notification you get so if you actually say um, message notification um, you can allow access to read contact information allow access to read all logs um, authorization notification bar limited back-end power saving uh, policy start automatically as well so i'm sure you know all about what notification is uh, pomodoro which again is like a countdown of timing 25 minutes and counts okay so time you can actually choose um quite big actually i think it's 45 or 25 on the uh, Pomodoro. Regards to Countdown itself, it actually surpasses any of the robots that we had so far. So I'll show you. Hi, Rox. Countdown to 99 hours. Okay, three, two, one. Here it goes. 99 hours. It can actually do countdown up to, I think. And the battery has to be strong enough. So the way how we can do that. Just place it on the charger. So let's do that again on the charger. Hi, Rox. Countdown to 99 hours. Here it goes. 99 hours on a charging dock. You know it's going to deliver. So we have mainly gone through the app that I installed that is available within the app itself. But if we were to go down other than the app itself, 
I already covered the remote real-time monitoring, video player, uh, video call, remote control. So let's actually go to the health reminder, shall we? So these are the functions that is available. You can actually re, um, ask Rocks to remind you to drink water, fitness reminder, and sedentary as well. The alarm clock as well. So you can add the alarm on the bottom saying that uh, what sort of time, um, let's say the alarm clock will, should be activated on uh, seven o'clock or whatever and what minute. And then you can repeat it once or uh, you can actually make a remark as well. So when it rings, it will tell you what it is for. It says here, the bell's ringing. Okay, so that's how it works. Now this is my favorite part and this has never been shown on the previous robot. This is why I believe is the best robot that you can get. Uh, the AI voice engine, okay? So the system GPT assistant is that uh, you can actually set on the default voice engine, which it says here, chat GPT 3.5 model, okay? So that is brilliant, but if you want to upgrade into ChatGPT4 or the third party, you have those uh, functions that is available with this robot, which has not been shown on the other robot. The way how you can register ChatGPT4 is you need to get the uh, API key number on the input and you just need to paste that in and then it will be able to function as a ChatGPT4. On the third party, you can use all these different uh, information source as a uh, software. The App Center, uh, you can actually see that I have actually installed most of them other than the fact that automatic recharge should be available maybe with the panel on the back. Now Bluetooth speaker, as I shown on my previous video, you can link it up with your Bluetooth. Let's play Whisper by Jiggler. Okay. Sure, I'd be happy to play Whisper with you. That is quite loud, I have to say. Painfully loud. It's all in maximum volume, by the way. It's not happy <laughs> because I'm holding it up. But very good sound quality, I have to say. Now, take photo. We have already covered that well. Um, wake and talk. This is very interesting, people. I'm sure many of you are going to ask me this question. So voice wake up is available. Conversation with action, etc., is now available. The wake up uh, word is this one. I don't want to say it because it's going to trigger it. But language wise, a lot of you ask me what sort of language can each robot can speak. Check this one out, people. Rox can speak English, Italian, German, French, Spanish, Russian, Korean, Japanese, Portuguese, and Vietnam language, okay? So because I speak Korean as my main uh, language, mother tongue, let's try out Korean, shall we? Hi, Rox. Today weather. Okay. Hi, Rox. Happy birthday. <laughs> it says thank you, but I haven't got a birthday. It says I'm an AI and my high priority is to provide information. I'll do my best and etc. So I speak Korean now, okay? So it speaks different type of language, people. It's amazing. You can change the sleep setting for um, rocks robots so you can actually make it snore to sleep or display closed snoring sound display off from to with a certain time as well so the final conundrum let's try some of these robot performers shall we so first one hi Rox. play soccer <laughs> here it goes Oh no. Eat bananas. So you can see that at the moment, 
it does not function the eat banana so it then automatically converts to the AI ChatGPT 3.5 and this is where I find it really clever first it does its own input of command and if it does not understand then it converts to AI to resolve everything you don't need to make a command to convert into ChatGPT because you already set it up within the app as an automation hi Rox give me a show That's available. Saxophone. Hi, Rox. Hi, Rox. B box. <laughs> Type. Okay. Hi, Rox. Play racing. That is cool, isn't it? Okay, so let's focus on the actual screen. Hi, Rox. Play 3D pinball. Yeah. All these animation. It's just great. Hi, Rox. Read book. <laughs> Hi, Rox. Drink water. Nice. Hi, Rox. Play Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rox. Exercise. Nice. Look at that. Exercising. <laughs> Hi, Rox. Angry. Ooh, scary. Hi, Rox. Cry. <laughs> Fear. Love you. Laugh. Go forward. There you go. Hi, rocks. Turn left. Okay. Hi, rocks. Shake to the left. That's what it's done. Okay, I missed that. Hi, Rox. Dodge to the right. Stamp your right foot. <laughs> Let's do that again. Hi, Rox. Stamp your right foot. That's cool, isn't it? Shake right foot. Yeah, okay. Hi, Rox. Sing a song. Okay, here comes the music. I want to visit America. Statue of Liberty, it White House, Empire State Building, Lincoln Memorial, Las Vegas Strip, Yellowstone National Park, Grand Canyon National Park, Times Square, New York. San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Okay. Hi, Rox. I want to visit Seoul. That's great. Seoul is a vibrant and exciting That's city. That's the chat GPT. Hi, Rox. I want to visit Korea. Seoul Tower, Myeongdong, Jainbokgung Palace, Changdeokgung Palace. Jeju Island, Han River Park, Gwangwoman, Gangnam District, Yuwa Womanchi University, Incheon International Airport Duty Free Shop. Happy birthday! We've done this before, by the way.
Nice stepping, by the way. Okay. Hi, Rox. Today is New Year. Happy New Year. Hi, Rox. Frog croaks. <laughs> Dog quacks. <laughs> so that's pretty much it and I hope that covers most of the aspect function that is available on Rox Robo at the moment before the end of the year of 2023 and I'm sure the updates will come along. I've actually been communicating with the um, Li Tan Pei staffs and they have immediately applied all these changes and recommendations that I ask for them to do so I'm sure they will be able to uh, respond to all the difficulties in the near future as well. I have great trust with the company response level. They managed to resolve it within half an hour of something that I had a bit of an issue about. But overall, you can see already there's a lot of advanced technology ahead of the other smart home robots that I already have. For example, avoiding the obstacles in the front, that's something that I had never seen on the other robots. I'm sure you guys are aware of what I'm talking about. Also speaking different languages, not only English, Korean, Japanese, Vietnam, and Spanish, and French, and German, and etc. That's also amazing. But overall, you also have a function of choosing different chat GPT or AI language uh, source as well. That is amazing. It's more uh, driven into the app side, but that's because there are so many different functions of it. And it's mainly because you can't remember all the commands. You have to always go to the voice um, command encyclopedia to be able to remind yourself. And that's, I think that's one of the most annoying things about other robots that have chat GPT on it. You have to remember the trigger word of uh, igniting the chat GPT on it. But this one, it already has it on the background. So when it does not uh, understand your original Rux uh, software command, it will divert into the AI, which is just brilliant. I just love it. And that's something that I haven't seen on other smart home robots so far. Hence, I think this is one of the most advanced smart home robot that you can get currently. So I hope this video clarify how cool this Rux robot is and make sure you actually tune into my live streaming that will happen hopefully in a couple of days time after I upload this video. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech uh, featuring Rux Robot. All the best. Bye bye.